Hey guys, today's Sunday the 18th. We are in April and right now I'm driving to Venice, Florida to pick up my truck. It's been parked there for two weeks and one day and we're in Jacksonville, Florida. So right now I'm with the boss the princess. And, and the princess and we are in the Tesla driving to Venice. It's about a four hour drive I think but we also have to charge the car so that becomes roughly like a six hour drive so it's telling us to charge in, in, in Kissimmee near Orlando it's actually planning on four hours 45 minutes yeah but we know it'll take longer so this is what it takes you know to own a trucking company it sucks things like this it's not fun um, the boss is gonna drop me off and then from there you know she's gonna have to drive back on her own well we're gonna sleep there at, in the truck tonight and then tomorrow at 6 in the morning I'm gonna leave and then she'll leave back to uh, Jacksonville which is where we're staying at the moment one of our apartments uh, but I just wanted to share this as you know experience things that we have to deal with in the trucking world and in our daily lives so it's gonna be a little bit of a fun drive it is raining as you guys can see so it's not gonna be the best drive down there autopilot doesn't like when it's raining a lot but as you can see it works fine. still works pretty well the reason why we're going so far is because we want the right mechanic. We don't want to just give the truck to anyone. As you guys probably know, it sucks to give the truck to anyone. And the right mechanic, it's five hours away. Then you drive five hours away. Yep, unfortunately, I don't want to hand my truck just to any mechanic uh, for a million reasons. And most truckers out there are going to understand. If you have done that, let me know on the bottom comment below let me know how far you guys have driven to go see a mechanic and actually fun fact so my truck was acting weird in Boston so I actually drove from Boston to Venice well I drove from Boston to Miami delivered uh, three cars and then from Miami well my last drop-off was Marco Island actually and then from Marco Island I drove to Venice dropped off the car the truck uh, the boss picked me up and then I've been waiting since and it's been two weeks so we had to wait for parts because of COVID things are a little bit funky right now with parts um, but yeah so I actually drove 1500 miles to come see my mechanic because I didn't want to trust anybody else uh, to do this and I drove 50 miles an hour because the the truck was losing power due to lack of diesel the lines got dirty or whatever happened and here we are so these are the kind of things that we have to we have to deal with and sucks so for you guys that understand the need of picking the right mechanic and driving far away to go to the right mechanic now you're gonna understand your wife about the right hairstylist. That's why she go to the expensive one, the faraway one. You know, it's kind of the same. Just ah. helping out. Relationship tips. That, that's a relationship tip. You know? Now I get it, then. Yep. Now, now it makes sense. Yes. See? Mm. Relationship tip. There you go. <laughs> Guys, you gotta, you gotta live and learn every day, right? All right. See you guys later. Share, like, and subscribe. And comment below if you guys have done this crazy maneuvers that I'm about to do here. Crazy mission. Peace.